So Dennis recognized the similarity between radar waves and light waves and came up with the idea of the pyramid, the hopeless diamond, and then um, Dick Scherer made it fly. So that's what a F-117 looks like to a radar. There's a few directions where you get reflections, but in the other directions there are none. By the time of the Joint Strike Fighter, computing power had improved and we no longer needed to confine ourselves to big panels. So these airplanes that I'm going to show you are um, also faceted, but there's thousands of tiny little facets instead of a few big ones. So there's a generic airplane, and um, what happens in World War I, when the first airplanes uh, were built, they used them as scouts. They would fly out over the enemy trenches and see where the troop concentrations were and then come back and report. And the pilots ended up passing each other with information and being pilots on opposite sides, they started taking pot shots at each other. And uh, they weren't being very successful. Let me see if I can stop this. So, um, Lighthill was an English mathematician at that time, and he computed the probability of hitting one airplane from another. And he compared it in his final report to being on a horse on a merry-go-round rotating in one direction and trying to shoot an antelope bounding in the opposite direction. He said there's just too many degrees of freedom. But, he suggested, if you fix the gun to the airplane, that eliminates six degrees of freedom, the, the gun relative to the airplane, and if you could get behind the other guy, he's only moving in two dimensions, and you could perhaps control your airplane in two dimensions and have a finite probability of hitting another airplane. And that's still true. Um, to hit another airplane, um, you need to get behind it. So you use, today you use, um, radar and IR guided systems, but you still have to see the airplane with your radar and IR guided systems. And from the front, you don't want the other guy to see you. So we focus on making the signatures very low in the front and in the back, but it can't make the uh, airplane invisible in every direction, so the signatures are large on the side. And when you hear somebody saying, oh, we saw a stealth airplane on our radar, well, you can see it from the side. The problem is you can't shoot at it. 